Hey y'all, welcome to the channel. So in today's video, which is different than all the other videos, I thought I would take a look, a deep dive into Beyonce's upcoming hair care line, which she just announced yesterday. It's gonna be dropping February 20th, and it's, we officially know the name, it's called Sacred. And I wanted to do a little deeper dive, find out about the brand before February 20th so I can be knowledgeable about the products that I'm putting on my hair because of course I'm gonna be using it. I am a fan of Beyonce, but I'm a fan of good hair care products. I feel like she is in a very unique position. She has the financial backing, she has the knowledge, she has the influence to really bring a hair brand, a hair care brand out that is really good. Like it isn't one of those hair care brands that we know is a money grab just because we know people are interested in great products for hair. It's not one of those brands. So I feel like we have a very unique brand that is about to launch in my opinion. And I'm very interested in what she is about to drop. What do I expect from the brand? Well, honestly, I have very high expectations for the brand just because of Beyonce's background, her mom's background. She was a hairstylist, she owned a salon. I feel like the brand is gonna be luxe. I feel like the brand is going to concentrate on hair care, which is much needed. I feel like a lot of brands now, they're just putting things out. <sighs> They're just putting out things to make coins. They're not really focused on hair care, in my opinion. And some people may say I'm being biased because this is Beyonce, and maybe I am, but I really think that the products will be above and beyond what we are anticipating them to be. And why? Well, I feel because this has been a passion of hers for so long, and this is her words. Um, last year, she made a post in May talking, well, teasing about the brand. And what she said was, she said, how many of y'all knew my first job was sweeping in my mama's salon? Destiny Shaw got our start by performing for clients while they were getting their hair done. And she continues, I saw firsthand how many, I saw firsthand how the ways we nurture and celebrate hair can directly impact our souls. I watched her, my mama, heal and be of service to so many women. Having learned so much on my journey, I've always dreamt of carrying on her legacy. I cannot wait to, for you to experience what I'm creating. So it's just, for me, her brand is deeper than just making money. It's about continuing her family's legacy, which began when she was a little girl in her mom's salon. And I also signed up for the sacred um, email list. And I also got an email that gives more insight into the brand. And I got a letter that, well, I got an email that shows a picture of Beyonce, the one that looks like Blue Ivy getting her hair done in a mama salon. And it says, and she wrote, it has always been a dream of mine to create a hair care line. That's why I'm so proud to share sacred, which celebrates and honors the wisdom in our hair. I'm excited that you're now a part of this community and can help build the intimate and powerful space where we can share our journeys our hair secrets and protect all things sacred. So I really think that she has really thought about this brand in its in totality. Like this is something that she's been thinking about for so long and now has the time um, and of course the resources to do so. So I think this brand is going to be very impactful. Um, what else do we know about the brand? What are my thoughts on the brand? Okay. Some of the things that I've also noticed is that they trademarked last summer um, requests to make certain products. So it's going to be hair preparations, which is shampoos, conditioners, maybe leave-ins, gels, all of that stuff, candles, vitamin supplements, which is probably gonna be hair supplements, electric hair styling tools, combs, hair accessories, pillowcases, and it specifies four other goods and service categories. So we don't know what those are. So definitely it's gonna be a full service line with uh, everything that you would need to take care of your hair. The next thing is that I have researched is who is the line for? So last night she dropped a little promo video of herself as a child in her mom's salon. She uh, highlight people using the brand, highlight different people in the video herself. And from the video, I can tell that the video shows that it is for all hair types, natural hair, permed hair, short hair, long hair, wavy hair, 4C hair, any type of hair you have, this brand will be for you, which is kind of reminds me of what Rihanna did with her line. It's for everybody. 
I also think for some reason that she's going to be marketing this not only to consumers but to professional stylists. It's just a little inkling that I have. So I want to go deeper into the actual hair products. So I think from the video, I think she's coming out with shampoos, conditioners. I want to say leave-ins and creams, scalp treatments, and possibly some type of foaming products. I don't know, it's just the video is just giving me that price point. Well, I do feel like this product will be a little more expensive than the girlies are wanting it to be. So I think this is going to be on par with the Pattern Beauties, the Innocence, the Verbs, the Living Proofs, the Olaplexes. I think it's going to be a quality line, which means that you have to spend a little more money. So I think the price points are going to be between $20 and $30. That's just what I'm getting from the branding and from the positioning of what the video, the website and everything is looking like. That's just what I think. I could be wrong and i think for quality products the pr once the if it's quality the price will be the price you know we pay for good products and this will be no different and of course it's beyonce so i think we'll be fine we'll find the money um and my expectations i expect a great product line because it's beyonce i feel like everything she does she does is at such a high level this is no different and i think this is going to be at a high level because this is something that she's been wanting to do since she was a child. She's carrying on the legacy of her mom. Her mom knows about good products, so I think she has some input as well. So this line is going to be, I think it's going to be quality. I think it's going to be something that services us really well. And I think it's going to be one of those products that you add to your existing line of products. Will it replace all of your products? Probably not. That's never how it works. I think we're still going to be able to rock and use our Innocence, our Pattern Beauty, our Verb, our Donna's Recipes. I still think it's going to just add and mash in really well to our existing line of products. I am very excited to see what Sacred has to offer and those are just my thoughts on the brand. And so to put a little bow on this, like I've seen a lot of people ask, well, why is Beyonce coming out with a hair care line? And I read, read a really, you know, funny tweet that I loved and someone says Beyonce launching a hair care line will only mean that the most insufferable people on this app will start a discourse once again over something they don't question other celebrities for and I agree with it so there's so much talk about why she's bringing out a hair care line even though she has she can trace her lineage back to a hair salon most people can't say that most people most celebrities who bring out product lines do so to make money um we have celebrities who have skincare lines that we can probably say with 100 percent certainty that they don't use we see celebrities you know go through go to the dermatologists go to the laser this and the skincare that and you want us to believe that your skin is the way it is because of these four products give me a break we have celebrities who just realized yesterday that they have natural hair come out and try self natural hair care lines let's be real we have celebrities that come out want us to believe that they've been working on makeup lines for like six years like let's be real like like come on and i feel like beyonce is always held to this high standard because she's just so good at what she does that she is always critiqued and i think it's unfair i think if this is something that has been in her spirit that she feels is her purpose and is going to continue her legacy that is all the reason she needs to come up with a hair care line and you know what i might be biased because i'm a member of the bi but i think that anything that god rests in your soul and that you want to do you should 100 percent do and so that's my thought on that and on february 20th i will probably be the first person online to buy these hair care products because i love hair care products i love trying things i love bringing my audience new products telling them how it works, telling them how it doesn't work. And I will do the same at the end of February for Sacred. And I'm just happy that there are, you know, there are new products for us to try. And it's from a black brand because of course we have white brands that are bringing out natural hair products. And I mean, 
do they have natural hair do we complain about them do we buy their products yes we do so on february 20th we are going to be buying beyonce's hair care line and that is the end of that so if you guys are going to buy the hair care line i want to hear hear about it like are you excited about the products what are you most looking forward to um let's chat about it let's chat about it um that's going to do it for this video I just really wanted to like discuss that like that was just something that was on my soul today um but yeah that's gonna do it for this video i will see you guys like at the end of february we're gonna be right back here and we're gonna be reviewing the sacred line and i cannot wait i really cannot wait guys <laughs>